Japanese government approved a restructuring plan for Tokyo Electric Power Company on Wednesday. This move does effectively nationalize the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Industry Minister Yukio Edono summoned TEPCO executives and told them that the proposal went through. Under this plan, TEPCO will receive about $12.5 billion in public money. This will also allow the utility to file an application to the government to raise power rates for households by about 10 percent. TEPCO will also receive additional financial support from the government to compensate the victims of the nuclear disaster. The firm plans to pay about $10 billion to those affected. Some hurdles do remain, though, before the plan can be implemented. Restarting a nuclear power plant in Niigata Prefecture is a precondition. It's still unclear whether TEPCO can get the necessary approval of the local community and regional government. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, I'm sorry. I thought that was the stupidest answer. More and more signs are showing up that underscore the struggles of people who live near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The signs read, closed for business. People are leaving the area one after another. Shops are closing down. So some people in Fukushima City are trying a new strategy to revive their economy. And HK World's Yutaka Yano has the story. <laughs> Japanese are no strangers to matchmaking parties. But not many have seen one as big as this. Men and women gathered at this restaurant in Fukushima City and at more than 70 other spots across town. None of them had ever met before. And they had other worries too. Many people are uncomfortable or skeptical about being in Fukushima, fearing the effects of radiation. I wanted to wipe out their fears. Fukushima City is about 60 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi. It's outside the government's evacuation zone. Still, City officials have detected elevated levels of radiation in some places. And more and more residents are leaving town. When I walk around, I feel that there are fewer young people in the city. It would be great if many people could get together to make Fukushima vibrant again. Shopkeepers aren't seeing the customers they used to. Masato Fukuchi manages a commercial building with dozens of shops. 
Three of them have gone out of business over the last year. Fukuchi decided he had to do something. His solution, matchmaking, on a grand scale. At first, most restaurant owners were skeptical. They didn't think that anyone in Fukushima would participate in such an event. Fukuchi visited them one by one to win them over. I hope that we can work together to get people to come to Fukushima. The day of the event arrived, and more than 2,300 people lined up. Hundreds came from outside the area. Shuzo Iwano grew up in Namiya town within 10 kilometers of the Fukushima Daiichi. He was forced to move away after the accident. Now, he lives in a town not far from Fukushima city. His friends are scattered all over the place. <laughs> he hadn't seen so many people in one place since the accident. He wanted to meet some new friends, and not just women. <laughs> Over the past year, I've been busy taking care of myself. But people around me were so keen to make things better in Fukushima. I couldn't have come this far without their help. So now, I want to contribute to those efforts. Men pay $80 to get in. Women pay 50 Then they can go to any restaurant they like, eat and drink as much as they want. And, if they're lucky, maybe even find a match. Fukuchi says the success of the event encouraged him to organize another and perhaps another after that. <laughs> Everyone will come back gradually. And when they do, I want them to find this city lively. I think it's our duty to make that happen. Fukuchi says the event helped businesses throughout the city. Restaurants, sure, but shops, salons and hotels, too. He says together residents can rebuild their own on the hope of finding love. Yutaka yeah. Yano has returned to Fukushima City repeatedly over the last year and he joins us now from our studio in Sendai. So Yutaka, this event looks a lot of fun, but how does this help the local economy? Well, matchmaking parties are not new. Japanese have tried to get young people together at small parties for decades. Organizers first put on large-scale events like the one we just saw in 2004. They've become increasingly popular in the last few years. Masato Fukuchi was the first to organize one in the three prefectures hit hardest by the disaster. The event doesn't just benefit the restaurants. Many stop in at shops. Many participants go to beauty salons before the party. Many stay overnight in hotels, so the whole city benefits. People in other towns and cities throughout the Northeast heard about this event. Now they're following suit. So why did so many people come from outside Fukushima Prefecture? Most of the people I talked to said they came to support the city, but they also came just to have a good time. People around here have heard lots of plans about how best to rebuild We've reported on many of those initiatives over the last year. Fukuchi says they need to come up with some new ideas to keep people from outside interested in their struggle. His idea of a matchmaking party is one of them. Right, thank you very much there. That was Yutaka Yano.
may also have been damaged by the quake. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. May also have been damaged by the quake. Nuclear fuel likely melted down. May also Just a couple of fuses blew. Stitches coming out in a week. Listen, we've got to talk about this pimple cream. Yeah, yeah, I know he has. Forget the problems. I'll take care of the problems. They're gonna love waiting for it. It's a massacre. But I've got to warn you. At first, it might sound ridiculous. It's radical and not without its risks. But I'm certain I can pull it off.